What is the connection between dyslexia and entrepreneurship? And which traits make them especially successful? We're going to talk about this and more in the upcoming video. My name is Arie, I'm a dyslexic in the field of education studies, and yeah, let's get into it. So Julie Logan did a study on dyslexia and entrepreneurs. And when we look at our general population, we can see that around 15% are dyslexic. If you look at entrepreneurs, she found that around 35% of them are dyslexic. So that's already interesting. In her study, she examines the proposition that dyslexics do not only develop coping strategies for their weaknesses, but that these same strategies are also of benefit when they become entrepreneurs. However, other researchers have said that we have to be careful when we consider her results because, well, her participants weren't very many and they weren't officially diagnosed. You used a kind of a checklist to determine which of her participants are, were dyslexics and which of them weren't. Um, so that has been criticized and there might be other reasons why dyslexics end up uh, starting their own business. One reason might be that they're unemployed. 40% of dyslexics tend to be unemployed and then you're more likely to start your own business. That aside though, I do believe that dyslexics might be very well suited for becoming entrepreneurs. And I'm basing this also on her findings. She found that dyslexics perceive themselves as being to be very good communicators, also good delegators. When you start a company as a dyslexic, you tend to grow it faster. The other benefit might be that you have more control over your working environment. So you can hand off certain tasks and concentrate on the things that you're really good at. So does this now mean that you should become a dyslexic entrepreneur? Well, hold on a second, because her participants only said that they were good at communication and delegation. We don't know if that is true for sure. And we also don't know if those entrepreneurs were actually successful or not. This is why I would like to include another study done by Fink, because she actually looked at highly successful adults, 60 in total, and she wanted to know which kind of traits they had that made them so successful. So here are some of the results. She found that they had a lot of empathy and they had mentors in their lives, people that helped them. They were extremely passionate about what they were doing and they were very persistent. And I would say that all of these things are quite handy when you become an entrepreneur. So let's do a quick recap. Among entrepreneurs, there are many dyslexics. And if you're a dyslexic entrepreneur, you're likely to grow your business faster. You probably perceive your communication abilities as very good, as well as your delegation skills. If you are successful, then it is likely that you use your emotional, your empathic abilities, as well as your passion your resilience, and you got probably some help along the way. So if you're a dyslexic and you're thinking about starting your own business, I would say go for it. 